Hello guys, you welcome to the Twanya's Diary Show, where I explore the world through my lens. My name is Angel Twani, and on my diary today, I'll be taking you to the city of Accra, Ghana, where I will be exploring the sights and sound. Come along with me. To come from the Nandi Azikiwe Airport, Abuja, to Lagos International Airport, where I will be boarding my flight to Ghana, it was a smooth and a relaxing flight all the way to the city of Accra, Ghana. Akwaba, welcome to Ghana. Ghana is a country in West Africa located at the coast of the Gulf of Guinea. It has a lot of beautiful side attractions and historical places. The morning after, hard breakfast, a quick one. I would say an English breakfast, but should I call it Akwaba, Ghana breakfast? The first call was a Makola market took her from the Oxford Street in Osun, where we boarded a bus just to get that Ghana bus experience. Hi guys, so it's a cold raining um, day here in Akara, Ghana, and I'm in Makala Market. So come along with me, I'm sure I'm going to have like such an interesting time because I'm seeing beautiful things already I love from their kinte and their beef. For me, the Makola market is similar to the Balogo market in Lagos, Nigeria. How are you? Okay. It's really cool. Okay, I'm going to pick one before I leave the market. Beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah. On my neck, right? But how do I bring this out? I think it's stuck. I can't remove it. That'd be nice. I can't remove it. There's a way the guy placed it. Lagos Park is a public beautiful park in Accra, Ghana, where visitors and tourists come to. It's a calm nature like park with beautiful landscape, vintage structures, and sculptures. Okay, so what are you about to do? I'm gonna go on a rope course. What do you call it? Rope course. Okay, I'm sure you're gonna have a word full time. Yeah. Hi. You look like you're from Ghana. Yes, I am from Ghana. Okay, so what adventurous thing have you done since you came to the Legon Park? Um, I actually went for the canopy walk, okay. which was <laughs> scary, but then I, I, I was able to go through it. So I'm here to go for the road course, which is more adventurous and scary. But I heard that Ghana has a lot of tourist attractions. So, what other tourist attraction? Oh, there's a green. The, actually, the canopy world, the more high, like the highest one is in Kakum. Okay. In the central region. Mm -hmm. There's the ca um, castles. Like there's so it. It's not only in Accra. Another region. People say the people are amazing. Like they're so polite. Right from the entrance and up to this point. It's just been all pleasant experiences. Very polite people. Very hospitable. And yes, there is a pond nearby where they... I think they have... It's really funny because... There is no structure whatsoever. I think they just dug like a hole and there is Trendy water in there, it doesn't com. move. So I would say it's artificial, it's but then it's the surrounded by these very green grasses, coconut trees, and also it looks really, really natural and beautiful. Like I would recommend this for anyone who is here on tourism here in Accra Ghana. We have to stop. Okay. 
we're here. This space houses beads, jewelry, bags, slippers, made mostly with Ankara wrappers. <laughs> Here in Akara Art Center, houses so many beautiful accessories from earrings to beads to unbound goods to sleepers to a lot of beautiful things that have to do with the art and craft here in Akara, Ghana. Wow. Back to the art and craft. This place houses mostly beads, jewelry, bags, sleepers made mostly from Ankara wrappers. Last tip for the day was a Black Star Square known as the Independence Square. This place hosts most of the independence celebrations and as well as their national great events here in Ghana. The waterways, the sandy soil, the sun sets in the great sights people, the lava beach. in Ghana, I love Ghana, you know, it's been positive, I've been up north to Kamasi, down to Cape Coast in the south, I've been all over, and it's fantastic, um, the native people are friendly, you know, it makes you feel like you're at home, um, for me the food, I can't talk too much about the food because I'm vegetarian, and uh, so I'm I don't eat meat and fish, but you know, uh, the food has been excellent because you hear they have vegan restaurants, vegetarian restaurants. Uh, I've been to a lot of places. Azara trying out the banquet food. It's similar to the Nigerian, um, what do you say, to, you know, to when they use cassava and um, the corn flour to make it. And uh, I'm trying out this particular meal with the okra soup. And it's actually the fresh fish. But, uh, Hope you had a great time today on my diary visiting all the beautiful places here in the city of Akara, Ghana. Bye for now. Guess what next is on my diary? Watch the next episode. Baba got